How's it going there? Pastor Mule, Church of the Second Amendment. I've been hearing a lot of crap, and I just watched the video while I was doing shit. Well, while I was taking a break from doing some shit. Uh, about the whole Larry Vickers thing. And I want to put my two cents into the fire. Last one I watched was Johnny B, and then I watched the ones from uh, Guns and uh, Gadgets, or whatever his name is, who does a really good 2A shit, right? Ex-cop. Ex-boot. Just got to say, right? Figuring out that the boot isn't that good. But, on the Larry Vickers thing. Look, first of all, dude pled guilty, right? So that meant... He wasn't willing to fight for the shit he did. And the shit he did, from what I'm hearing, and from what I I heard Jared say, right? Motherfucker deserves to go to jail, right? He broke all those... Now, there's plenty of fucking criminals out there every day. And I say, be a criminal. But when you get caught, you know, you're fucking caught. And that's what he did. He that's why he pleaded guilty. They had enough shit on him to get him to plead guilty, right? And let me tell you something. Or there's enough fear in the heart of him, who's a supposed warrior, right? That he didn't want to fight that fight. I understood he fucking was fighting cancer, right? But this guy got all the guns that you and I can never have, and he got them through loopholes that if he would have just followed what the loopholes were there for, he would have been able to keep the weapons. But they were fucking greedy, right? Because all of what I've read is that they got these weapons imported to be able to show them to cops, right? And because the cops might want to buy these for their departments, right? That's a basic rundown of what I've heard, right? And all he had to do was show them to the cops, but he didn't. They all wanted them for their private collections, right? Now we know where, uh, you know, brand new Seiko 92 came from a couple of years back, right? And half the shit that he's had on his fucking channel, right? And now we understand everybody thought, ooh, what happened when ATF went and took all Larry's guns? Well, now you fucking know, right? Dude played the game and played it wrong. Okay, and there's a new administration and it's not going to look the other way, right? And that's what happened here. They stopped looking the other way, right, for Mr. Larry Vickers. And I'm a giant fan of his YouTube channel, right? Watched every single one of, his, of the gun videos and used to love when he would do the half-taken-apart AK slow-mo, right, videos with the 74 and the 47 variants, Right, where we take the gas shit off and everything. Man, those are in my favorites. Right? But, you know, the whole point of it and, and the shit that I hear all the time from everybody is nobody's above the law. Not even fucking Larry Vickers. Not presidents. Nobody. That's the way it's supposed to be. Right? Nobody's above the law. Doesn't matter your skin color, your fucking religion, what you do for work, and who likes you. Right? Nobody's supposed to be above the fucking law. And he fucking pleaded guilty. Right? You don't plead guilty or take the deal unless they got so much crap on you that you're going forever. And for him... 25 years was probably a death sentence. But don't try and act like, you know, that we should feel bad for him. I feel bad for the dude from Wisconsin, what, CRS, who was pushing. That's bullshit, right? That. The shit where he was not even, he wasn't even directly selling these cards. He was promoting a card that gave the image of a fucking lightning link. Right? The image of a lightning link. And the guy who made him didn't like engrave him to be cut and all that bullshit. That, all that shit is the same kind of tyrannical crap that we see every day from the fucking government. Right? But Larry Vickers. Larry Vickers isn't that. Larry Vickers thought he could get away with shit and show it off to everybody in the world. Right? 
and trade shenanigans behind the scenes. And he got unlucky in that sense. He got caught. Or they or they caught him and wanted to use and they want to use him. And they might use him as a uh you know PR thing, a propaganda thing, right? But he did it. He did it. He pleaded guilty. He did it. And it's not hard to believe him doing it when you read the fucking story. So that's my two cents on Larry Vickers. Y'all have a nice day.